right, removing the steering wheel here. Tiny little thing, maybe 11 inches across. Not really worth keeping. Not the look I'm looking for. thing uh, so got to get the right size for that be right back I'm back let's see give you a sense of what I'm looking at here. It looks like an adapter. It's got the threads in there to the splines, I should say, to go around it. What I like to use, brake drum adjusters. Uh, they have a good wide screwdriver tip and a little bit of a tilt to the edge or angle so that we can uh, hopefully get that thing taken care of. So let me put you back on the stand and then I'll give it a little pry here and there and see how we do. the good new uh, steering wheel. Okay, so this is the steering wheel I bought off of uh, the Samba.com. It was uh, 50 bucks, including the, the horn. It's, you know, if you look, it's a little rough in some spots, but imagine the interior that I got. And it was good. Much better than uh, this nonsense. So, I've got the nut. Found a nice thin flat washer. I'm going to pop it on there. My son is doing the camera work, 11-year-old boy, good man. Say hi. Hi. There you go. So, let's see. I did make sure the wheels were straight, by the way. So, that's on. Washer. Nut. Thanks for watching. See ya. Okay, I have just hooked up my new horn. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Temporarily, just kind of spliced it in. So let's see. Thank you. 
Well, the horn itself might be a little bad, but that wire works. So uh, I'm just going to uh, disconnect that. The uh, round D or the uh, D horn here is looking a little ratty, so I'm going to take it over to the wire wheel and give it a good scrub. I hate slot screwdrivers and slot screws, even when I have two hands I'm doing it one handed for you guys. Even more of a pain in the butt. clean in there but we do have a functioning circuit so now all we got to do is get this thing cleaned up you can see let's see if we can get that to focus all the scaling but can't beat original parts so Awful lot of pitting, but uh, I'm looking for driver, not restoration. So. All right, all done. Still some pitting. You can kind of see it in there. But uh, looking much cleaner. Doesn't have that sort of scaly grime from age on it. A little bit more of a shine to it. I don't need it polished, polished because uh, the steering wheel's faded too. But uh, I think that's going to look better. So, all right, time to go put it on. All right, I'm gonna finish up horn button install. Now I just have to remember how it goes back together. The ring. Okay, first things first, I'm going to do the electrical connection. Put 
that loosely on for now, and then uh, once I get everything out, uh, rest. Again, this horn button that I bought, pretty good shape. I mean, it's a driver, not a restoration thing, but obviously so is this, this lovely rig. Drop down into the slots. Okay. Some pressure. Bought this off of the Samba. This guy does custom painted horn rings. Just absolutely fantastic. And I went with red. Nice spring there. How does that look? Nice. Does that look level? I think that looks level. Alright. Wider shot here. Horn button's looking pretty good. Love that. Kind of matches going with the red. Just a little bit of pop. I'm gonna paint these red at some point. And that, uh, that gone, I mean, cassette tech, whatever. I have a back seat that kind of matches this. This needs good clean. Better than this back seat design. So I think we have a winner. All right, uh, this is me doing my best. Hopefully you guys do your best too. Have a good one.